Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mike. I'm the American Analyst. And today we're going to be talking about an issue which concerns me greatly and which is not getting the proper attention that it deserves. That issue would be the legality of the constitutional rights that we are guaranteed versus the necessity of protecting the public health. If you like what I do, please be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, follow me on Twitter and Minds. Let's get into it. Okay, so this is an article from a source called shy.streetblog.org. Not necessarily a, a news source, but it, it's just a, a blog. And it's a local blog here to Chicago, uh, which is where I live. And I thought that it would be particular, particularly relevant uh, to the situation that we have right now. This guy, John Greenfield, I have never seen someone so eager to have their rights taken away from them. This guy is literally begging, begging the government to come and say, please take my rights from me. I, I, I can't believe it. I literally can't believe it. It's, it's a lot like um, there's a book called Fahrenheit 451. Um, many of us, I'm sure, were required to read it. And in the book, they say that the authoritarian laws were not brought out by the government. They were demanded by the people. By the people and so this is what something that that concerns me greatly because i am concerned about this particular communicable disease that we're dealing with right now i'm very concerned with it i was definitely one of the first people that i know of that were saying that hey this is gonna get bad you should get ready right now i've been taking that seriously for a long time but what people are not taking seriously is the slapdash manner with which the rights that we are guaranteed as Americans are being taken away from us. And look, I'm not saying we shouldn't even do that. I'm not saying I'm not saying we shouldn't do these social distancing things. But I am extremely concerned that no one is at least talking about this. There's no mention of it saying there's nobody saying that, hey, look, this is just a temporary measure. And you might say it's assumed. It's assumed it's a temporary measure. I don't know. Yeah. I have no idea. No one's talking about it. That's my point. I'm very concerned about this. And this guy has his rear end so far. So look at this. Okay, here we go. Most local residents are not going to follow proper social distancing protocols until they are legally required to do so. Well, that would be their choice then, wouldn't it? I would say you're stupid. Don't do it. But that would be their choice then, wouldn't it? We shouldn't have to wait until Chicagoland hospitals are over capacity with corona patients for our leaders to enact a shelter-in-place order to slow the transmission of the virus and keep large numbers of elderly and vulnerable people from needlessly dying. I agree. I agree. This is what I'm saying. There has, there's no other side of this. I'm not saying don't do these things. I'm not saying that saying there has to be a conversation there has someone has to say look this this is unconstitutional you can't tell me to stay in my in my house i can leave if i want congress shall not infringe the right of people to peaceably assemble i'm be i'm peaceably assembling what are you gonna do what are you gonna do if i walk outside you gonna arrest me and and this guy he, he sees no other side of the argument he sees none he goes through about half of it is about half of the article is just him um, laying out San Francisco's guidelines because they have recently um, ordered something like this. And so I, I don't need to go through that. And the, th the amazing thing is, here's his last paragraph. Here we go. Also, keep in mind, okay, <clears throat> but if you're relatively young and healthy and therefore less likely to get seriously ill from corona, you're too self- and you're too self-centered to care about whether you spread the disease to at-risk populations. For starters, 
It's also possible to survive but suffer permanent lung damage, and young people are dying. Also, keep in mind, local healthcare gets overwhelmed with sick people. There will be no hospital beds, ventilators available if you get run over by a truck or someone from some other health emergency. So, even if you're a selfish jerk, it's in your interest to start following these rules immediately. Screw yourself. How about that? He he doesn't seem to think... He seems to think that this is an unabashed good. There's no downside to this at all. At all. None. None. It's like, look, I am very, very wary as someone who is particularly liberty minded of these just quarantines being put in place. There seems to be no check on this authority. And again, I'm not saying we shouldn't be doing it. But there's no check. This is hap- This is just happening. They're just doing these things. There's there's no other voting process. There's no separation of powers that can say, hey, look, okay, you're doing this, but we're gonna just we're just gonna vote on it. We're just gonna vote on it. Make sure that it's okay. Okay, you pass the vote. Good, good to go. No, nothing. It's just executive orders by governors, mayors, and presidents, and this makes me very very nervous. So yeah, you can go ahead and call me a selfish jerk. Well, I think you're an idiot. <sighs> And, okay, <laughs> um, I think the best thing to do would be to practice, I would say, voluntary social distancing. That is what I believe. I think that for now, there's two things. For now, we don't need to lock people in our homes. Unfortunately for this guy, we don't live in China. They can't just come to our door and weld us inside, have the government throw food through a window. And I think voluntary social distancing is is the best thing. I mean, and it's just it's a very it's a very difficult situation to deal with. But all I, my my main point of this video is to say, can we at least talk about the other side? Can we at least say like, hey, look, this this is potentially serious this is potentially serious so I, I don't know um, the last thing I would say is I'm, I'm not unsympathetic to the people that think that we need the, we need these things in place right now I'm not unsympathetic to that because like I said I've been following this for a long time I've been following this for a long time but um, this is a very liberty minded country and it's always important to keep those things in check to make sure that we ensure those things but hey I, I suppose we'll see what happens I mean this particular guy he he would love the government to just come and set his schedule for him and tell him how to live his life well no thanks I'm good if you like what I do please be sure to like this video Subscribe to me here on YouTube. Follow me on Twitter and Minds. Have a good evening. Thank you all for listening. This is Mike, the American Analyst. Follow me on Twitter, Minds, and subscribe to me on YouTube. And be sure to hit that bell notification. I'll be coming out with new videos every single day for your viewing enjoyment. Have a good one.